Hello, in this Visual Basic tutorial, I am going to show you the list box component. And a list box is basically a box of a list of items in there, and you can select them, nothing more to it. So if we go to Toolbox and we go to List Box, let's drag that on right here, and let's just see what, you, you know, what happens if you run it right now. Okay, so a little small, there's that, but let's just say if we you know, extend it a bit. Still, like, there's nothing in there to actually add something to it. You know, you can do the regular property they can apply to most elements, and then that the name that we you would use to refer to it. I'll leave it just default just to make things easier. If you click this button here, that looks like a play button. It's just actually just an arrow. You go to edit items, and then you just put your items here. So I'm gonna put some superheroes. Let's see, Batman, the Yoda. I know people will argue Yoda is not a superhero. You know, he saves lives, or, you know, that's what the Jedi is meant to. He's, so he's a hero and the superpower, so, you know, he, he, he sort of is. Okay, so Batman, Yoda, food and yacht, he's a Green Lantern. May have spelled him his name wrong. In the name Green Lantern, let's do another one. Moga, Mogo, Moga, Moga, I think it's Moga. There might be a company that makes peripherals for mobile phones. I don't know. Okay, and let's just do one more signal. Okay, so everything is DC except for Yoda. Never know, never know. Okay, so now if we run it, the five items are there. So that's pretty cool. So we can now select them like so. But, you know, at the moment it's pretty useless. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to do something pretty cool. Add a label on here. And by default, the label's name is going to be, you know, label one. Again, recommend you that you change it, but just to keep things even simple and short, I will leave it. I uh, don't want checkbox, I want to the button. And what I'm going to do, when the button is clicked, immediately get whatever's selected from the list box, and I'm going to put it into label one. If I double click that, so when the button is clicked, we're going to do dim. We're going to say, we're going to call this text and string. So this is merely going to store what's been selected from our list box when we click the button. So we can say text equals, so list box one dot get selected. Selected item, so we want selected item. Dot two string, so we want to you know, convert it to a string. And now, what we're going to do is say label one. Dot. Actually, we can just assign it directly like that. Equals text. Oh, we need to do dot text. Sorry, my bad. Now, if we run it. We click plus, uh, we get an error because nothing is selected. So let's just run it again. There we go, it's fine. So as an extra task, what I want you to do is figure out how you can check if nothing has been selected. But as you can see, this works all great. And you know, there's a variety of functions that you can use to manipulate list boxes. And honestly, you can see them all here. So if I go to list box one, uh, you know, there's like so many, there's, there's so many things that you can use from, you know, just the, changing the various properties to actually, you know, get in its elements, you know, like I did here, selected item, you can do, you know, get selected index as well. There's just so many things that you can change to do with list boxes. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.